Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, No Chefs Here. You guys know how much I enjoy wood ear mushrooms. I've made some soups with them, I use them in stir fry, you can check out more videos on my channel, and today for the first time I'm going to make a salad. I usually have them in my pantry, but today I ran out. So before we begin, let's go to an Asian grocery store, I'll show you all kinds of choices you have, at least where I live. You will be able to recognize this market from some of my previous videos. It's the one close to my house, very convenient. So I head over to the dry ingredients aisle and that is where you find it. That is the brand I have been buying recently. You can take a screenshot if you would like, it has been really good. There's another variety, kind of a smaller pack. There is one more, very similar to one I buy. And there's a Japanese version. And to prepare them, just soak them in enough water to cover. And I usually use hot water, just to speed process a little bit. From that point on, you can just set them aside. All right, so in addition to the mushrooms, I've got onion. It's about half of yellow onion. It's split into different pieces because I kept changing my mind on quantity. Speaking of, all the quantities are in description box below. Ginger, beautiful cilantro, and I've got eight cloves of garlic here. Carrot, I'll probably use about this much. Chili pepper flakes, gochugaru for seasoning white pepper and if you don't have it you can use black but this is so much more flavorful sesame oil black Chinese vinegar sea salt you can use also regular salt but this is so much better so peel this carrot real quick and while I have this thing with me might as well use it on the ginger but you can also use like a regular spoon to clean ginger Exciting stuff. Time to start slicing stuff. How about like that. So find yourself a stable surface and I'm just gonna go and uh, slice in thin sheets first. And when you're done you can take a few slices. I've seen a lot of people just cut all kinds of them and you just uh, go in matchsticks. Something like this. Next is ginger. Basically I'm looking for the same small strips first and then in matchsticks. So not all of my pieces are ideal thickness but that's okay. I know it's not the most efficient way, but I'm just gonna come back and cut those up. No worries, no worries. Next is onion. And then just break them apart. There you go. With the garlic, basically, Peel everyone and then starting with larger pieces just chop this all up. Now go over and refine everything. How fine do you want the garlic? Up to you. This beautiful cilantro I'm just gonna cut it in like cut it like this part of finger length pieces including the stems. So now check out the size of these mushrooms. It's been about an hour. So now if you would like to you can cut them in manageable bite-sized pieces but I mean look most of them are not all that big so I will keep them just like this. So I went ahead and drained the water but because of the next step you will see you don't have to be too careful. Technically speaking these rehydrated mushrooms are not cooked. Nowhere on the package that I read 
a warning that you cannot eat them like this, but I heard the recommendation is always to either blanch them or steam them just for a little bit. So I have mm, some water, probably like two cups, coming up to a boil here. And these go in. Literally just waited till the water starts boiling again and it was just two minutes. Done. Boom. Strain them. Then to stop the uh, cooking process and cool them off a little bit, I will wash with uh, cold water. And once again, just strain them very well. And at this time, I'm actually gonna go ahead and squeeze excess water. But there isn't gonna be much. I mean, it's just a little bit. Alright, now I grab the biggest bowl I have, so it's convenient for me to mix. The entire plate of vegetables prepared all go in. Now I want to start seasoning, and when I season stuff, I don't like to think of, especially with salads, I don't like to think of um, tablespoons and teaspoons and all that. Uh, you see, I made the surface pretty equal and kind of flat, so my goal here is to just give nice light coverage entire surface one time. I'm gonna start with the salt. Then uh, chili pepper flakes. White pepper. Now this stuff is pretty, you know, pretty strong, so go easy. Sesame oil. Black Chinese vinegar. But if you prefer the measurements, I will list them all in the description box below. And then grab the best tool in your kitchen and start, start mixing. Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot soy sauce. Um, I repurpose these sriracha bottles because they are kind of like a squeeze bottle. Very convenient. I recommend to do that too. So basically, aside from you trying to adjust the ingredient amount to your taste, this is done. Pop this into the refrigerator, I recommend, um, especially because like this vinegar and salt will act on mushrooms and make them so much more tasty. But right now, you can, you know, give it a try real quick. I'm gonna get one with everything on it. Looks good. Mm. When I was done, I put the salad in the refrigerator to marinate in those seasonings for a couple of hours. In my opinion, the longer it sits, the better flavor development becomes. Mine turned out to be a little bit on the spicy side, but you can always adjust seasoning to your taste. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, until next time, I wish you nothing but the best.